Hi everybody, nice to meet you here. So today I decided not to go to the airfield because I've had some things to do. And uh, uh, I decided to take uh, the second video here on the riverside. It's a really beautiful place. I hope I would uh, bring you this uh, beauty and uh, uh, tranquility of this place through our video, but I think it's unfortunately it's impossible because uh, now we are going to talk about the uh, second part of uh, the aviation law and we'll talk about the aircraft airworthiness and registration marking uh, regulated by Annex 8. So uh, I'm happy you're watching this video. I hope uh, you liked all the previous video and found them uh, useful for you to study with PPL training materials. Okay, let's uh, switch to the uh, to the computer and start with uh, talking about this second topic. So I hope this um, will take not more than 10 minutes because we are going to talk just only about the aircraft airworthiness, the aircraft nationality and registration and uh, the certification of registration. So let's start with the airworthiness verification. Uh, it is uh, proved by the certificate of airworthiness which is issued by the state of registration of the aircraft. So this all stuff regulated by Annex 8 and ICAO has uh, specified a special form or standard form of this certificate which has to include the nationality and registration marks, manufacture and designation of the aircraft. Now this is just an example of this uh, certificate. Uh, it, I just took it from the internet because I didn't have uh, the real certificate from our aircrafts on hands when I record this video. So as we said, this certificate should contain the nationality and registration marks, the manufacturer of the aircraft and model and serial number and category or designation of this aircraft and of course uh, date of uh, the issue of this certificate and name of the officer who has been issued this certificate and designation number. So this is the, the FAA form, for CA it will be the same form. So this certificate is valid only with the flight manual of the aircraft and uh, aircraft limitations and information. You also have to get certificate of release to service of the aircraft in case um, when um, aircraft has been or parts of the air aircraft has been overhauled or some parts are changed or modified. And also in case uh, if you have done some changes to get additional permissions, for example to tow gliders or if you changed the uh, type of the undercarriage, for example if you just changed from the tail dragger type of undercarriage to nose gear uh, type of the undercarriage. In this case you have to uh, get again a certificate of release to service or if you, can, if you change the engine type, the same stuff. So, certificate of airworthiness has the period of validity. So, all these uh, inspections should be done periodically to renew this certificate of airworthiness. Or, uh, this validity should be proven in case of um, some repairings are done. In some cases, in uh, case of small ch uh, repairings like uh, replacing tires or safety belts or safety harnesses but in, in all other cases maintenance procedure procedures should be done by uh, special technicians and uh, after those uh, changes or maintenance procedures validity of the airworthiness should be confirmed again by issuing the certificate of release to service so let's switch to the nationality and registration marking. This is re uh, regulated by the Annex 7. Uh, so uh, let's start with nationality mark. Uh, let's see on this example. Uh, this is the first letter is nationality marking uh, just for uh, United States. And this is a nationality mark for uh, Czech Republic. And nationality mark is just uh, is taken is selected from the special registry uh, which is uh, issued by the International Telecommunication Union. 
So all uh, in the all this registry contains uh, all countries and all nationality marks for each country, and uh, each country should use those uh, nationality marks from this registry. The registration marking consists of single letter, multiple letters, or combinations of uh, letters and numbers. Again, in this example, uh, those uh, letters or numbers after nationality marking is the registration mark of the aircraft. Again, Mike in Lima, in this case, is the registration mark of the aircraft. So, some in some cases, uh, when uh, type of the last uh, digit or uh, last symbol of the nationality mark and the first symbol of the registration mark, if they have the same type, they should be separated by dash between them but in this case, uh, when we have different types of this, those letters don't have this dash. So we have uh, some exclusions of the uh, registration mark. Uh, we don't. Uh, we cannot use um, some special designated codes, uh, Morse codes, or for distress, urgency, and safety codes. Also, we cannot use in registration marks uh, Q codes like QNH, QRT, and so on. And also. Uh, it's um, not permitted to use um, uh, five-letter combinations of the international code of signals like Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, and so on. Again, there is a special registration uh, certificate is standardized by the ICAR, and this is an official document certified that the state of registry has uh, registered uh, the aircraft. And this uh, certificate should contain, again, nationality or, and, uh, or common mark. Uh, in towards common mark is the, the same nationality mark, but issued for, for more than one country simultaneously. In some cases, um, uh, some group of countries can use uh, one aircraft, and uh, for those groups uh, could be issued some kind of co common mark. Again, we have to see, we have to have uh, uh, registration mark and the certificate of registration and manufacturer designation of the aircraft and serial number of the aircraft and uh, name and address of the owner and uh, of course uh, signature of the officer who is um, issued this uh, certificate and uh, date when this certificate has been issued so that's it this is was short video uh, next video uh, will be, let's see, uh, about the classification of the aircrafts and light markings. So that's it. Thank you very much. See you. Take care.